Okay, you can stop. You can stop. You can stop. All right, here you go. All right. Now, David, you stop turning from the camera. Did you say Christmas carols to my mom, baby? Sing them. Get out! Look at me, so mean. You cheat your own cake. No, it's ain't up. I got just a little bit of peace. Is it good? Is it good, Nay Nay? I'm going to show this going in. I'm going to cut it too. Go ahead. Look, I got a little bit of peace. Rainy Auntie. I know it. Rainy. Well, we got your picture up on the book here. There you go. Oh, it's not a quarter collection. December 25th, Christmas Day. It's been going okay. You can see a Joe Cool. He's playing uh, a Nuclear Strike. You call Bill? Yeah, I paged him. I'm going tell him where he at. Here's, here we have the, the latest addition to the NKU family. Check him out. Live and direct, the 25th big baby. Now this is the premiere of uh, Jackie Brown. Hope it's gonna be good. We have the fish, Earl and Mo, and Cedric. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tupac Shakur. If you ever look at this tape 10 years from now, we'll know that this guy was a legend. And he lived during my time. I'm not really a big fan. Look, that's, that's a title photo of him in there I've never seen before. That's bad right there. Oh, that is tight. I'd like, I'd love to have a post on okay. that. That is tight, dude. I like that. Plus, I seen that new Jay-Z video today. Which one is it? Streets is watching. Yeah. Jazz. <laughs> 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 you keep on doing that. He's an ugly boy. <laughs> 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 he thought I was ain't sticking his joint up. <laughs> I probably look like mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. You know, this is sticking out too. That's a lot. He thought I was going crazy in this <laughs> part. I want all your motherfucking waffles. All your waffles. You know, stupid son of <laughs> Oh, turn them on. We're in the Waffle House with Chanel Harrison and Joey Rexionist. Hey, what's happening? So, Chanel, how did you like the premiere of the Tarantino? I didn't like it. Tarantino let me down. Pulp Fiction was way more creative. It was way more characters were even better. But this one was real shitty. I didn't like it. Plus, it was fucking hot in there. Joey Rexus, I hear your mouth. Pulp was way better. Lips in the screen. Pulp was way better. Lips in my screen. Pulp was way better. Pulp was way better. Sadly, baby. Action, alright. What album coming out, kid? I don't know, man. 
being highly anticipated right now, though. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my thing, represent from my head to my people, you know. <laughs> So what's, the, so what's the title of the album? The title? I don't Lots know yet. Lots jelly there. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, you know, I just want to put jelly all over here. Oh, hand me the uh, ass train. I got to work for the clean? No, I ain't asked you all that. I said school over. <laughs> He's clenching his ass cheeks. <laughs> he doesn't want it. Doesn't want an accident. Cops. Film live.
Check out the footwork. Beautiful. Come on, Dave. Check out the footwork. Check out the footwork. Trust you, boy. What? So it's you know having a seat. Look, I saw me a quick off camera. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you got a whole shot. No. Think it would have been straight gummy over this way. I think I might hear almost caught you. You want to be me? You want to be me? Hey, you want to be me? Hey, you want to be me? You want to be me? You want to be me? You want to be me?
Spokeswoman says the agency is
Clyde has been talking about this email and showing it to people for over a year. The reality of it is, in that report, it said that, that someone from my client's password got onto their server. My client hadn't had access to their server or their email since November 2001. Jim Bell says that's when the hotel removed Dean from the company's computer system without explanation. The announcement heats up the controversy over Dean's $50 million federal lawsuit, claiming the St. Regis discriminated against him because he's black. It also alleges the hotel staff steered away business from his restaurant. They have not denied that their managers specifically told Timothy Dean's employees and their other employees that a black man cannot run a five-star restaurant and he needs to stay, to stay in the kitchen. The St. Regis denies it discriminated against Dean and plans to file a counter lawsuit claiming fraud and defamation. He's a great chef but he did not have the business experience. The St. Regis Library Lounge and Restaurant replaced Timothy Dean's after Mother's Day, and Dean's attorney says the chef is looking for a new location for the Timothy Dean Bistro, which he hopes to open in two months. In Washington, Lumi Conrad, BET Nightly News. And still to come here on the BET Nightly News, we continue our in-depth look at diversity in television. Tonight's a battle for viewers in prime time when African-American audiences are tuning in. Our monthly investigation into diversity in TV is just 20 minutes away. You do not want to miss it. Also, before you, a congressional committee takes steps to help the international community prevent the practice of drafting children to armies. save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, I'm Rudy Rush, host of the Chill Time at the Apollo. And now is your little star's chance to make it big. McDonald's presents its Show Time at the Apollo Kids Talent Search, co-sponsored by Sears. Open to kids 5 through 12. This is your child's time to shine. So enter today. For details, including entry deadlines, call 1-866-782-7223. The year 2021, the future of the next generation is in the hands of two unlikely heroes. I get shot at, burned, people chasing me. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. You ever think about how many people around you just up and die? Luke Perry. She didn't know what she's doing. Malcolm Jamal Warner. Don't have a clue. Right. Adventure has a new you, name. You're gonna be the right last time you've seen you that day. And if you call 1-800-645-ARMY right now, you'll also receive a free Army t-shirt with your video. Discover the 212 ways you can be an Army. Topics that matter. Insights into your world. Lead story. Sunday at 11 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. More charges of sexual abuse inside the Catholic Church in New York. Reverend Francis Nelson has been indicted by the Brooklyn District Attorney for allegedly molesting a 12-year-old girl. Nelson turned himself in to police. He has been relieved of his church duties. Meanwhile, in Wisconsin, the Archbishop of Milwaukee is under fire for allegedly paying to silence the men who accused him of attempted rape. Archbishop Archbishop, rather, Rembert Weakland received a speedy resignation acceptance from the Pope. He admits he made a confidential payment, but says he has never sexually abused anyone. An update for you now on a story we've been following right here on the BET Nightly News. It involves the plight of child soldiers around the world. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee today approved a U.N. treaty that outlaws the use of child soldiers. The treaty ensures that no child under the age of 18 be forcibly recruited into armed combat. Right now, an estimated 300,000 children are fighting in more than 30 conflicts around the world. Treasury Secretary Paul O'Neill and Irish rock star, star Bono continue to tour Africa. They visited an AIDS clinic in South Africa, caring for 
HIV positive mothers and their children. Afterwards, O'Neill took issue with media reports that say he is reluctant to fund to act. When it's really aggravating when you're in the business, as I think I am, of trying to ensure that we make the world a better place, then when I ask questions about why aren't we spending money as the first priority on treatment, people say, oh, God, he must be against treatment. Wake up and listen. O'Neill and Bono say they hope their four-nation trip will shed light on efficient ways to help ease poverty and disease in Africa. President Bush and Russian President Vladimir Putin today signed the biggest arms reduction treaty in history. The 10-year pact would cut the Russia and U.S. arsenals by two-thirds, and each country would be limited to just more than 2,000 deployed nuclear warheads. However, the remaining okay. arsenals leave both nations with enough missiles to destroy each other's major cities many times over. Five miles an hour may not seem fast, but it can be costly, says a report issued by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The Institute performed low-speed bumper crash tests on nine mid-sized cars of varying cost. The test showed the two top performers were the 2002 Toyota Camry and the Lexus 300 ES. They both received an acceptable rating. Jaguar was the ultimate loser in a low-speed crash. It received a poor rating. Still to come here on the BET Nightly News, who really benefits from all those tourists on those buses in the streets of Harlem? The story's coming up and later. Black audiences and the television ratings game. Oh, yeah, Joy, Joy, Joy. Oh. Joy, this hundred of bucks. young lady that has been extremely helpful and I'm just so fond of her but there were two I thought they were one and the same they get us mixed up a lot we are always mistaken for each other throughout the store the attitudes are so close it's very easy to recognize it as one person double the courtesy double the smile you always look for that familiar face it makes you feel good to shop with someone like that how do you invest to help secure your children's future? You start with your dreams and your jobs. And your jobs. Oh, baby! Is that you? Mmm, baby. You change. Nestle introduces the best tasting baby week ever with a taste of your soft and sensitive. Japanese tourists hit the streets of Harlem, but they weren't just there for a pleasure trip. They were bused in to prove a point. 
ET's Enrique Correa filled us in. In a show of support, East met with the West. Tourism dropped drastically following the September 11th attacks on New York City, and today more than 350 Japanese travelers visited Harlem to promote tourism between the United States and Japan. According to the Harlem Chamber of Commerce, the Big Apple made $41 billion from tourism, and Harlem received less than 2% of that money. Harlem is number one nationally and internationally uh, as being known by tourists and visitors and people wanting to come here. So we're creating jobs, we're creating new business opportunities, and we're developing our culture. Harlem is one of the top tourist attractions here in New York City, and tour buses constantly drive up and down the streets of Harlem. But the only problem is sometimes these buses don't stop where tourists can get out and buy things to bring the money back into the community. That is how, obviously, people are going to be able to spend money get off the buses, go into the locations, but that has been a problem, but I think we have addressed it now. Merchants in Harlem are happy to see the tour buses stopping in front of their stores. And when the buses stop, the cash registers usually start ringing. It's good for tourism, you know, it's a sense that, you know, people are still here, they're coming to New York and they're buying, and that's, that's, that's great, because that actually, you know, it helps us, helps out a lot. Merchants say besides the money, they like when tourists from abroad come to Harlem, because they get the opportunity to learn more about African American culture and music. In New York, I'm Enrique Correa, BET Nightly News. NBA superstar David Robinson is going to hang up his sneakers after next season. The 13-year veteran of the San Antonio Spurs made the announcement today. Robinson, a former league MVP and all-star center, has been plagued by injuries in recent years. He says now seems like the right time to walk away. I thought it was just a good time, you know, to give the, give the Spurs time to make some changes and begin to move in a different direction and, uh, and for our family to kind of get ready to, to move into a different area. I know the Lord has some good things for me to do. Robinson will be completing the final year of his two-year, two $20 million contract. He's an Annapolis graduate and served in the Navy before going pro in 1989. He was nicknamed the Admiral. Well, the graduates of the only all-male historically black college in America got an inspirational send-off from civil rights leader Julian Bond. He laid out a plan of action for Morehouse College's class of 2002. An early attempt at ending illiteracy in the South developed a slogan that was also their method. Each one teach one till all could read. Perhaps your slogan and method could be each one reach one. Each one reach one.